I think it's I think it was just more of compatibility and I think we kind of complement each other in a lot of ways. Art teacher Brian Chow and biology teacher Pamela Chow first met at a new teacher orientation. Brian was already the head of the art department, and Pamela, then Miss Tai, was a new teacher. At that time, they didn't have a very strong initial impression of each other. <laughs> I, I, well, I think I was just overwhelmed. I was just meeting some people. I don't know that I had a lot of really, you know, strong impressions of anyone per se. I mean, so I mean, he seemed to like, like a nice person, but I didn't really, I wouldn't say we really talked to each other too much for the next three to four more years, so. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the meeting was, doesn't have a lot of interaction. It was sort of like stand up, hear the new teachers, and then hear the department chairs, and just say hi. And that's basically it. Um, but my impression was, uh, she looks nice. <laughs> Around three to four years later, the two of them got to know each other better. Brian had taken over her portable as there was renovation going on, and they had talked and exchanged numbers while supervising a play at Fremont, the school event. If they happened to pass by one another in the office, they would wave and talk for a couple minutes to each other. I, I used to supervise a club on Friday afternoons. They were very, very dedicated. They would practice every Friday. I can't remember if this was a Friday or another day, but I was watching them. Um, and Mr. Chow came out because they practiced right outside his classroom. And he came out to say hi. So we were just chatting there. And then, um, my friend, the same friend I mentioned earlier, uh, Ms. Giffen, who used to work here, um, she came to find me when I was almost done supervising and she said, hey, let's go, let's go have ice cream. And so she invited Mr. Chow to come along and that was kind of the, um, the first, I guess, really non-work outing we went on. Um, and then a week later he asked me out on our first date. So I had a, a, a no dating at school policy, dating at work policy. So. I decided to break that policy. That's what I started talking to Mrs. Chow. As for why they're suitable for each other, Brian and Lisa, they complement each other very well and have similar core values that they share, making things easy for the two of them. I think for me, I think, I think Mrs. Chow, or Miss Sai at the time, had a good reputation of being very nice, a nice person, and I think that I needed more nice in my, my life. So that was definitely something I needed, and I think Obviously, I think physical attraction, I mean, I think she's, it's pretty clear. It's easy to, <laughs> that part's easy, I think. They married in 2008 and now have a family of their own. Um, so we have three daughters, um, Gina, Samantha, and Eliana. Uh, Gina is seven. She is in second grade at Lincoln. Uh, she's probably the one that most students see wandering around here. Um, Samantha, or Sammy as we call her, is four. She won't go to kindergarten for another year or so. And then our baby is Eliana. Um, they keep us very busy. Um, they have a lot of energy. Um, so it's, it's fun. They're all very different from each yeah, other. They're, they're, very they're funny. <laughs> they're all funny and they're all silly, just like little kids, but they, they're all very different. You know, one is more of a, at this moment, more of a dancer, and another one is a little more of a, I don't know, it has, just, I think Sammy hasn't really found her, her nature identity yet, but she's not afraid to speak up for herself, and then the little one's not afraid to be physical, so, so I'm always looking, I'm always looking, yeah, I'm always looking for my hockey player, so, the, the younger ones seem to be a little bit more physical, so they might be better suited for hockey. Martial arts. They're 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 in some ways a lot like us. They're they're pretty resilient. They're pretty tough, mentally tough. Um, you know, they're flexible, but they won't. They can stand their ground and um, hold their own in any situation. So they don't, they don't quit. They just they're interesting. They're they're funny. Very social. Girls. They're social. They, they will walk up to anyone and talk to them. They'll talk your ear off. You can't rush it. When you meet somebody, you just can't rush it. Because I'm a big believer that there's somebody out there for you, and it might be for a moment in time, 
and that's the person for you for that particular moment. That moment might be two months or whatever. It, it kind of depends on where you are in your head, in your life, if that's what you're looking for, for someone to be a travel companion for two months. You're gonna find, you'll find somebody. But if you're looking for someone to have a family or your soulmate, those things are, you can't rush. They have to essentially develop. They have to kind of happen. Sometimes it happens sooner, sometimes it happens later.